good as grandmaster bay today we talking about energy and relationships so let's go ahead and jump right into it we got this one first off ddg is a prime example of this lady is giving a good uh she giving a breakdown well i ain't gonna say it's a good breakdown but she giving a breakdown on a relationship between Haley and ddj then i'm gonna show y'all something else from a different point of view and uh let's let's just go ahead and get into it you will never bring a man to your level he will always bring you to his Toxic men will be the first ones to broadcast y'all break up. Haley was never his type. You know who his type was? Ruby Rose. Now, I just thought this was interesting because she said that she was not his type, you know. And I'm like, I don't know how she would know what his type is or even what her type is. Unless you feel me like she's not had actual personal conversations with her. But let's go ahead and let it keep going. The OnlyFans model. He didn't want no star. He don't want the Little Mermaid. He don't want the woman who stepped away from her career to be a mom and his girlfriend. He don't want the woman. Okay, really pay attention to what she said because the next video is going to be very interesting with that. But that make those type of sacrifices. No, no, ladies, this is why I say dating down will bring you down. Stop trying to get with these men and bring them up to your level. DDG was never on Haley Bailey's level. He. I'm gonna be honest. Now I don't really know too much uh, about them before, uh, but it sounds like she coming from a place of hurt herself. And just going off of the comments that was in there, um, it was saying that, you know, DDG was on YouTube for years, way before Haley even got, you know, got with Beyonce or got, you know, did anything popping. So apparently uh, he started off with Ruby Rose. They got together. He let him go. And then he ended up talking to Haley, you know, but apparently they known uh, Haley and him. They known each other for a good, a good period of time. And he was moving way before her so i just think that it's interesting that she's saying this because even with that these things don't determine relationships if they're gonna work or not so i think a lot of women um some men too they have these um they have these certain narratives and they think that it's these things that make relationships work um, as far as a level of status or as far as social status I don't think that really works as far as like determining if a relationship is going to be successful or not. But let's continue. He was on Ruby Rose level. He should have stayed with her and worked that out. Stop giving up your prime years being these men, baby mamas. Protect your womb. Protect your peace. Another thing is this. Okay, so again, I get what she's saying, but man, it just sounds like she coming from a place of hurt, you know? Um... And it's hella, it's, it's, it's hella funny because, um, well, it's, I don't want to say it's really, really, really not, not funny, but it was somebody in the comment that was saying, um, a baby mama giving other baby mama advice is wild. So I don't know if this woman is married or she in a relationship or what it is, but it just sounds like, man, she just like kind of spiteful, you know, like she got a little bit of, um, a little bit of pain in her herself you know like she done went through something and this kind of triggered something for her so again the purpose of this is i show the energy on the underlying currents you know in all situations and all angles and she real red she real red like it, it seemed like it's something there for her that it was very it was it was a it was something that poked her with this situation a lot of these men are getting access to these beautiful women because they're dating higher echelon women. Ain't, ain't nobody looking at DDG. When nobody checking for no offset. They, they're able to get those type of women because of their main women they were able to pull. You bring value. You make him marketable to other women. See, again, that's Cap. Um, and the reason why I say this is because Offset was popping way before Cardi B even started rapping. Y'all, if y'all, I don't know if y'all remember, um, but this was a minute ago when Cardi B was first getting involved on the reality shows. That was when she was first, first starting to get, to get uh, relevant and start to um, build her name and everything. But Migos, they was already popping. Offset, all of them, they was already on the, 
before she even got her career started, like way before. So what she's saying is irrelevant or it's yeah, it's kind of irrelevant. And to be honest, Offset is part of the reason why Cardi B was able to accelerate so fast because he made her jump the line. Like Migos, they was kind of winning for a good period. Now, I don't know exactly about this uh, Haley and DD uh, G situation, but apparently he been on YouTube killing it for a long, long, long time before she even got signed to Beyonce, before she even starred in a movie, before, you know, she even got rolling in her group on YouTube. Now, I will say um, I do get where she coming from. She she coming from a, a place of hurt, you know. And I feel like women, y'all do have to protect yourself. Y'all do have to be very selective on who it is that y'all are spending y'all time with and getting to know, you know, but don't just assume because, um, status or finances or, you know, social, social media current that that is going to determine if a man is for you or not. That's not, that's not how it works. Um, so yeah, that's not how it works. Nobody was checking for these type of men, I'm telling you. So they will wait. DDG. Yeah, she funny. Now, this is what I, 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 I rebuttal to that. I thought this was interesting. Now, she was talking about this. Now, I don't know if this is AI or if this is real, but DDJ apparently posted this. That over and over, I have no interest in being fed by Usher. I have said over and over, I have no interest in being fed by Usher, and I have even less interest in making you feel this insecure. So I suggest you get a grip. Don't you tell me to get no damn grip. Why do you care about having Usher on your Instagram? Why don't you just block him? And Man, Usher be ruining relationships. I could have swear he just did this to Kiki Palmer and them, uh, and her dude, too. I don't know. That nigga tried to get Alicia Keys and Swiss, too. Man, that's just diabolical. Nah, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, let's let's hear what he's saying. Ended at that. It's not that hard. It's not that big of an ax for me, for me to feel better as a man. I'm asking you, can you block him? No, I'm not going to block him. This is ridiculous. Oh. You're acting like I said I wanted to marry him. A celebrity crush is just that a crush on a celebrity. It's meaningless, and we know it's never going to happen. I have said over and over, I have no interest in. So I think that was interesting because she is a celebrity herself. So, and it's like, um, well, for multiple angles. For one, he is expressing himself, you know, being open, being um, a little bit vulnerable with his feelings, you know, it, with it, the woman who he chose as a partner, as he chose as the mother of his child. Um, and he is expressing himself, telling her how he feels. And she basically saying, nah, it's not happening. So with that being said, the only route for them to do uh, realistically and logically is to go their separate ways because they are not on the same page, not on the same wavelength. Now, conversations should have been had prior to them having a child, but this is what it is. It's not no point in staying someplace where he's feeling like, um, you know, he's being stepped on or he's not really being heard. His feelings aren't being acknowledged. And she making him feel like she's in, like he's insecure, you know, like she's, I don't know if she does. Uh, Usher was trying to feed her cherries or, or something, give her flowers or whatnot. And, you know, apparently she was like, ah, uh, cool, but she wasn't going full far with it. I don't know. But basically, um, she, they're not on the same wavelength. You know, she's basically saying, no, she ain't doing it. So then, hey, man, it's, it's, it's not for you. You got to get you another one. It, it, so I just thought that it was kind of out of pocket that she was saying that um, he was the reason, you know, or that uh, she wasn't on his level and whatnot. Like she was putting him down for something. And he was like he was actually approaching and, and being right about how going about the situation. Now, if they didn't work out because of that, then, hey, it just is what it is. Uh, but you got to do what's best for you. You got to protect yourself, men and women. You can't you can't stay in a situation that is not going to serve you. That's not going to work. So I just thought this was interesting. I, I saw somewhere in the comments they were saying that, um, you know, that I think that she cheated on him or something or she was doing something. I don't know. But 
If y'all know um, the scoop, please let me know. Drop it in the comments. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me what y'all think about this. And I will catch y'all on the next one.